Today on Heather's Closet, out damn spot! Macbeth? No? The blood on the hand? No. All right, it's about to stay inside your clothes. Come back! Hey, baby, hey, baby. You know why I'm wearing white? There's no children around. How many times have you gotten dressed and you go to leave the house and something happens? You take a bite of something on your way out, it drips on the front of you. Your child goes to hug you big lovey kiss and gets the crap all over you. You get into the car and, and you know you get dust from the side of the car in your pant legs. I mean, this happens all the time. What do you do? Sometimes you can change, but sometimes maybe you have a specific outfit. You're going to a wedding, you're going to a graduation party, and there's not another perfect outfit hanging in your closet. How do we get the stains out? First, let's start with what we don't do, the no-nos. Let's not use a towel. Let's not use a towel. Let's not use a paper towel to try to get a stain off your clothes because it's going to leave lint, right? And you're gonna end up looking like this. That's not an improvement. Okay, so we're not gonna do that. Then, you know these little handy wipes that I always show you? I like to take on airplanes and uh, I wipe everything down around the seat because I don't want germs and I wipe my children off after we've been, by the way, I went to a party at this place last weekend which was like an arcade in the dark and everything glows. I still have a headache. But you know what I did afterwards? I dipped my child in antibacterial solution and took these wipes and cleaned her all over. Anyway, great for that not good for getting out a spot. Again, it's gonna leave residue. Here, I'm gonna show you this poor dress. And sometimes these, because they have alcohol in them, can ruin the fabric. So you don't wanna use these to get a stain out. And finally, let's not do this. Ding. Do I really have to explain why? Okay, I have to explain why. Because first of all, your thumb is not clean. Your spit is not clean. You're probably going to get lipstick from your mouth onto the garment and make the stain worse. And by the way, it's disgusting. Don't do that. No. Now we know the don'ts. So what about the do's? Like what do we do? Okay. The first one probably most of us have, and that is a lint roller. Great device, super cheap. You can buy them anywhere. And what's nice is they have these big ones, but they also make small ones that you can travel with or you can stick in your purse. And it's a really good way just to sort of freshen up your garment, take the lint off, and there you go. Perfect. So if you did use the towel and now the stain is gone, but you got lint on your garment, you can use this. Number two, this is my favorite. Okay, you're looking at it. You're like, it's just a little red foam square. What are you doing with that thing? This little miracle takes off deodorant. I'm totally serious. Okay, so this dress, not to be gross, but I wore it the other day. So it's got schmutz on it. You can see on the collar, it's got some schmutz, but also in the underarm department, there is schmutz. So this is, now you can't see it because on the inside, but I'm just doing it to show you. So you take this, see all that deodorant there? Watch. And it takes all of it off. Totally, look at how much better that is. Look at that. Just from this little thumb. Now you can buy this little foam square at a lot of like, like a Bed Bath & Beyond. Probably get one on Amazon, but you know what else you can do? You know when you get your clothes back from the dry cleaner and they put that, that foam piece on top of the hanger? Take that off, because you can use that for this too. And then please throw out the hanger, recycle it, get a real hanger. Don't leave them on those wire hangers. I don't mean to sound like Joan Crawford, but meanwhile, my references today are very old. I sound very old. Moving on. Okay, so you, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to get out your um, deodorant stains with. And it works like a charm. Really, really, really does. And honestly, my husband sometimes... Hello. My husband, you know who he is. Terry used to put on his deodorant before his shirt, and he's got white stains all over those black scrubs of his, and I just couldn't bear looking anymore, so I started going over and cleaning him, and then explaining that he should put his shirt on first, and then put the deodorant on after. It was a whole bit to do. But anyway, this little guy works like a charm. 
And then finally, a laundry stick. You know, it's so funny because my daughter Max had on a light colored shirt the other day. I didn't even own this, she owned this. Max had a light colored shirt on and she got a stain and she didn't want to change because she'd already planned the outfit. She's a teenager. When you plan the outfit and you want to wear it, what are you going to do? She took out the laundry stick, she cleaned it, she came around and she's like, look at this. I'm like, what? She goes, I just cleaned this. I'm like, that's fantastic. You know what? I was so amazed. I bought three of them. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to do, all right, on the next show, we're going to do uh, a little product review. Let's test them all and see which one's best. Do you want to do that? That'll be fun. Okay, we'll do that. Um, so laundry stick, lint roller, magical foam square, all very important. But let's talk about cleaning our clothes. I read once that someone said you're never supposed to wash jeans. What does that mean? They're not self-cleaning. You have to wash your jeans. But okay, I mean, look, we like to wear jeans, well, I don't know, do you wear them once? Do you wear them twice? To me, if you wear them more than twice, you got like that whole saggy butt thing going on. That's just not attractive. I like jeans that are crisp. I tend to not use the dryer, so I'll wash my jeans in cold water and hang them to dry, and then they stay looking new for a long time. How do our clothes get old? Our clothes get old because we wash them. This is a conundrum, people, because you have to wash your clothes, but then they look old. So the goal is to wash them as little as possible without being disgusting, okay? That's where all these little things come in because if you've worn something, you've gone out to dinner and you've worn a dress and there's no stains on it, you sweat through it and you know, it just, maybe it has a little deodorant, a little spot or a little something, touch it up, check it out, make sure it looks good and then put it back in your closet. You don't have to wash it every single time you wear it. It's going to make your garments age faster. So that's my show for today. I hope you learned something today about caring for your garments. Oh, and don't forget, it's almost time. Who is gonna win my fabulous necklace? Is it gonna be you? Make sure you're a subscriber if you want a chance to win. See you next week. Do it again. <laughs> um, kind of gross. And he always has, um, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm so congested all of a sudden. <clears throat> this is a, which is why I'm probably talking a mile in a minute because my anxiety level is like, ah! Did you understand that? <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Boy, I don't shut up. I mean, <laughs> man. All right.